Hi, hello, <laughs> me again. If you haven't seen my um, previous video, then why the hell not? Hello, it's okay, I'll wait. Off you go, go watch it. It's about the um, LG TV and also the Philips Hue lights. I can wait, off you go. So yeah, if you haven't seen my previous videos, you won't have known that I recently upgraded my TV to the new for 2020, even though now it's 2021, to the new LG OLED 4K HD HDR TV. And you probably also haven't seen that I also upgraded my lights uh, with the Philips Hue sync box to react to the light that's actually in the TV picture. It's madness. But anyway, since then I've also added an Apple TV 4K. And now it's time to add one more thing for the, the ultimate in-home cinema experience. Now my soundbar is just old, it's just not up to scratch. So that means yet another upgrade. I know, I know, spend, spend, spend money. No, it's not the case. I'm in lockdown, I'm bored. What else am I supposed to do? So as I said, my third and final upgrade for the ultimate home cinema system. And this is the LG SN7Y, a 3.1.2 wireless soundbar with, you guessed it, Dolby Atmos and other stuff. Wanna see what it was looking like in the box? Well, let me take you back a week or so, or longer, to when I did actually unbox it, unbox it, unbox it, unbox it, unbox it, unbox it, unbox it. Okay, so we have it, the sound bar in a very oddly shaped box, but well packaged nonetheless. Sound bar comes out first, relatively easy. Not so easy though, the subwoofer, that was a bit of a pain to get out of the box. But uh, as I said, nicely packaged. So there we have the, uh, the subwoofer, a nice shiny front design. And subwoofer, if you're interested, weighs 5.8 kilograms. So it, um, it's not massively heavy, but it's got a good weight to it. Figure of eight power cable you can see there and a, a nice, clean, sleek acoustic fabric on the front. Next, the sound bar. Um, as you can see there, you've got the inputs, two times HDMI out equal one, one optical, and then one times HDMI out. On the top here, you can see the touch controls, but also two whoppingly big speakers, which throw a ton of sound up to the ceiling. So it bounces back down to the user. And again, on the front there, a nice sleek acoustic panel. What else do we get in the box? Obviously, big power brick. It needs power to the soundbar and the subwoofer. Uh, yeah, a couple of mounting brackets to secure it securely to the wall, which you'll see me playing with later. Uh, obviously, the remote control, good quality. Nice small little remote to control the soundbar. And then another power cable. Oh, don't forget the batteries and a ton, an absolute ton of paperwork. We all love our warranties now, don't we, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, and what also came in the box was this, the uh, wall mounting guide for the sound bracket, which you'll see me use later. The soundbar supports 4K pass-through on its 2.1 HDMI port, but I'm connecting my Apple TV directly to the TV and then using the optical out sound on the TV to the soundbar as to not to affect my picture quality in any way. So in short, I don't need the port pass-through. Along with the, the bar is the wireless subwoofer to add some lovely rich bass into the mix and also to get that Dolby Atmos high resolution audio. That will make me feel I'm in the center of all of the action. The uh, total output is 380 watts. 160 watts of that is from the soundbar and 220 watts from the subwoofer. Boom, boom, boom. It supports not only Dolby Atmos, as I mentioned, but also something called a DTS-X. And it does this through something called Meridian Technology. Meridian, bass and space technology improves the sound stage, delivering a coherent sound image with a strong bass response. Meridian image elevation creates a more lifelike listening experience by psychoacoustically matching the positioning of the sound with the on-screen image. <laughs> I'm impressed I got that. Psychoacoustically. So did you know that uh, I'm a bit of a sucker? Well, I am. And uh, when checking out this soundbar online, obviously online due to COVID, uh, I was recommended these along to go with the new soundbar, obviously. I had to purchase them as well. And these are the LG SPK8, a 2.0 surround sound speaker set, which 
on its own means nothing. Basically, they are the wireless rear speaker expansion kit, which upgrades the setup to an ultimate 7.1.2 surround sound system. So when the helicopter flies overhead, I should feel like it's actually blasting through my living room. And then with the OLED and all the lighting, this is gonna be a truly immersive experience, or at least I hope. Please let it work. I've never had a full-on Atmos digital surround sound system before, so I must say I'm rather excited about this. And as I said, paired with the Apple TV, the OLED, and the Hue Sync, mm, I'm rather excited. But first, I need to install them, and it's supposed to be very easy to set up, which I have no doubt it will be, but this does require a little DIY on my part to uh, mount the thing on the wall. And uh, normally I'll be too scared to attempt this myself because me plus DIY equals But I have been getting better and braver with my DIY projects recently. So I'm confident this is something I can do. So let's do it. Okay, so the moment you have all been waiting for, well, not really, the moment I have been waiting for is here. So I found this uh, Dolby Atmos Cinema Sound and Vision YouTube demo video, which basically shows off the whole Dolby Atmos 7.1 as well as Dolby Vision. Should we do it? Should we do it? Yes, let's do it. But, but, but before we do, a quick rundown. This is the uh, LG HD HDR 4K OLED TV. This is the uh, LG soundbar with Meridian and DTS Dolby technology. And this is an Apple TV 4K and a Philips Hue gradient strip. Philips Hue play bar. Rear speaker left back. Rear speaker back right. LED strip. Another play bar. <laughs> Another play bar. <laughs> And then there was me. This is it, a full-on test of the 7.1 audio set and the 4K LG TV and the sound bar that I've just been talking about in this video. The collaboration, bringing it all together. Let's get on with it, shall we? But I need to turn this big light off so it's gonna go dark. From the beginning, we've asked the impossible questions. How do we evoke wonder? And how do we create an experience that takes you there, that immerses you in the moment? So far so good, but it feels a bit flat. It feels a bit boring. That's more like it. And so there you have it, the uh, the third instalment of three videos, one about the TV, one about the lights and one about the soundbar, which is this one. And that's it. Finished product is amazing. 
It is amazing, it really is. You can't experience how good the sound and the picture and the lighting and everything is unless you're there sat in it. So if you're thinking about any of these purchases, I would recommend you do it. Life is only short. You only live once, just do it. So as always, if you liked the video, and even if you didn't, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, subscribe, it helps me out. Thanks. Comments, questions, or feedback in the box below. And until next time, I'm gonna chill here now, go get some popcorn, watch some more films. Goodbye, internet. Put a chain on me, like they all hate on me. Don't bring that rage on me. Why they don't